Good guys, you might Aristotle here. As you guys may or may not know, I'm a big fan of Annie Leibovitz, and her work has a huge influence on me. The Rihanna's Vogue cover she did was one of my all-time favorites. Things about inspiration is that you get inspired by someone, you love their work, but when you go out to a photo shoot, you always create something else. Because at the end of the day, your image is about who you are, not who you follow on the Instagram. At the beginning of the day, I originally wanted to create a series of images to pay homage to Annie's work. Then I was quickly distracted by the purple weeds. Well, I guess it's been raining for the last couple of weeks, and the gardener didn't have time to mow the weeds yet. Well, extra bonus for me. My thought was, I couldn't repeat Annie's work better than Annie anyway. Why not take risk and try something new? So rather use beautiful soft light as I originally planned, I put the model under the sun, which is a harsh light source. Even though the soft light can be safe and pleasant, but to me, the harsh light and shadows deliver a sense of living in the moment. Through the images, I can still feel how beautiful that day was. The wind sways the flowers, and the sun kisses her skin. Because I live in Sydney, the sunlight can be very strong. When you compare the without and with flash images, you can see that under this context, it is very critical to have a proper fuel light in place. So that with all the highlight and deep shadow going on, her skin still looks nice and pleasant. Here's another set of images. You can see that without the flash, her face is a bit dark, her skin has a bit purple cast. Mainly because I pushed the shadow and black too much, trying to compensate the underexposed face. But when I add in the flash, as a feel light, it's so subtle and almost invisible. However, it does make a world of difference. Things about the inspiration is, just when I thought I would go and mimic someone else's work, a light bulb moment knocked right on my door. And then I use the sun as a hair light and fill her face up with a flash. The parabolic umbrella is a large light source, perfect to contour her face and body shape. It is so easy and light to carry around. Backlight can be dreaming and romantic, but it doesn't work if you have a high noon sun. You want to expose for the sky and also retain the face details. So what I did here is to set a camera setting exposed for the sky and use a flash to fill in to make her skin bright and glowing. Then the sun sets a bit. The wind breezes through the grass and the light patches sways gently. It reminds me of a saying in Japanese called wabi-sabi, meaning the beauty of impermanent and imperfection. I let the model lie down on the grass rather than blocking the light patches. I cherish it. And of course, it is the flash that made so much difference to balance out her skin contrast and color. So, originally aimed for a series of soft light images, I ended up with a beautiful collection of Australian harsh sunlight. 
I personally feel that it is the imperfection of the harsh sunlight reminding us the beauty of living in the moment. What do you think? Do you prefer soft light or harsh light? Comment below and let me know. This is your mate Iris Chow. I'll see you in the next video.